my god, I just saved your life. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for being here. How are you? Did you have dinner last night? If you didn't, grab a snack. I know your tummy's growling. Basically, I'm writing a new song right now and so I want to record vocals and backgrounds for it today. So let's go. First, I have to warm up my freaking voice because I was up late last night. One of my best friends, Mari, came over last night and um, I cooked dinner and I was just honestly in my mom vibes last night, but it was kind of fun. Yeah, my voice is kind of tired, so let's warm up. Ooh. My apartment is so bloody cold. You don't understand the trauma I go through on a daily basis. If anyone knows how to turn on those like old heaters that you have to light, let me know because I don't know how to do it and my apartment is so cold. It's just not at the time for anyone involved. Anyway, let's record, shall we, darlings? Just like a I recorded this the other day, like out of my actual MacBook mic because I was too lazy to set all this up and it sounds like shit. Whenever I'm recording backgrounds, background vocals, I'm just kind of like throwing spaghetti at the wall and seeing what sticks. Duh. Let's do like a little cute ad lib. I wish you guys could hear my recording, but it's honestly probably for the best that you don't. It probably sounds like dog shit. I have quite a potty mouth today. What's going on? Oh. oh my god! I recorded part of this yesterday and it's so shocking when I hear what I recorded. It's so ugly. <laughs> when you're not quite sure of the pitch, but you start singing anyway. I'm like, I'm not quite sure. Oh. Sing it, Chloe. Vibes, for sure. And that's all the sneak peek you get, sister. The song hasn't come out yet. <laughs> okay, it's been like five, maybe three hours. So you know what time it is. Time for a matcha break. You know the vibes. I exported it on my phone, so I'll give you a little taste. I finished a rough demo, my first like run through of this demo. One of my homies is flat vibes. My harmony tone is like. I like the concept of that, I just didn't execute it well. Like there's some good ideas, okay? It's just obviously like once you get the ideas out, you don't like deliver it exactly how you want it to be delivered because you're just trying to like get it out sonically so you can hear the concept you have in your head. But yeah, so normally what I do now is like I'll listen to it a bunch, like I'll listen to it in the car, I'll listen to it on my speakers, on my phone, and then I'll just kind of like make notes of what I want to change, um, and then I'll go back like another, probably tomorrow, and like re-record certain parts, just like certain areas of the tone I want to have a certain quality, um, certain harmonies I'll take out or I'll add if I'm hearing new ones, um, if I want to like dynamically change things, like make a certain part louder when I sing it or quieter or more um, intense or like less intense. So yeah, I just kind of listen out for those things and I don't even have to listen out for them. They basically bash me in the head every time I hear the song. So yeah, but let's make some matcha. You know what I mean? All right, everyone, grab your matcha. I ran out of oat milk, so I have half a matcha, but it's still doing the job. I started reading this book. It's called The Art of the Art and Life, Creativity and Career. I normally, I realize I don't really like books that are centered around like being an artist because I don't know, I just feel like that would be like telling someone with green eyes how to have green eyes in like a whole book. It's like you just are it already or you're not. 
Do you know what I mean? My friend let me use this book, so I decided to read it and I, I just barely started it last night and I just read this one quote that I thought I would share because I think it's really simple but it like encompasses a idea that I think is so important. It says, the real thing about creating is to have the capacity to be embarrassed. Oh my god. I feel like embarrassment is the thing that holds so many people back, including myself for a while until I just eventually didn't care. I decided that, you know, nothing matters. So let's just be as embarrassed as possible. But I think embarrassment and fear of embarrassment and humiliation is like the thing that holds so many people back from doing what it is that they want to do, whether it's like art or even just like down to something as stupid as like posting on Instagram, like these small things or like ordering a drink that you really want exactly how you want it at like a, a coffee shop. Like I just feel like people are so afraid of being embarrassed that they're willing to sacrifice so much of their identity and you know self-sacrifice to prevent that uncomfortable embarrassed feeling. The avoidance of that embarrassment really will just eat away at you and it'll it'll come out in other ways you know if you're not living a fulfilling life because you're afraid to be embarrassed uh that's gonna come out in resentment to other people that you see living the life that they want to live you'll feel judgmental because you know you'll be the one deeming something as embarrassing that someone else does because you resent the fact that you couldn't do what you want to do because you were embarrassed so now you're out here enforcing the shame and like embarrassment on other people. So yeah, I just thought that was so funny because it's so true. Like a big part of resistance is like that fear of embarrassment. When you're gonna do anything, like making videos, putting out videos, like making music, auditioning, like all of that stuff. If you're like so afraid of being embarrassed all the time, which I used to be like so much. I was so shy as a kid and my ego, my self-image was so fragile and everything about me was so fragile, you know, and embarrassment is like a tough thing to experience when you're really sensitive, but you just, I'm telling you, you just have to prioritize freedom over fear of embarrassment and I'm telling you like the freedom is so worth it. The freedom is so worth it. But um, yeah, I was also talking to my like, I go to like a therapy that's kind of like a voice art therapy type of thing and um, last week she was talking about how your body stores certain trapped emotions and I had a tight jaw for like a whole week and she looked at me and she was like are you holding anger in your jaw and I was like what do you mean and I've never described myself as an angry person you know I have always been relatively calm whenever there's like drama or like stuff in my family that's really dramatic I'm always very calm and I just try to like problem solve so I feel like I've never really had room to be angry about things or like express anger and so and I'm just not a confrontational person I, I don't like the discomfort of anger and what my what my teacher said was like repressed anger is depression that's what makes people depressed, is the inability to express anger or the belief that being angry is bad, so you just suppress it, suppress it, and that's what makes you sad. Like, anger is something you can act on and will fuel you because it makes you certain, it makes you have discernment, it makes you relentless in your pursuit of truth. But sadness is not something that fuels you. Sadness makes you sleepy. Sadness you can't act on. So if you suppress the anger and you suppress it and you suppress it, it becomes sadness, which then leads to depression because you have no energy to do anything, you know? It's crazy. So I would just say start analyzing your anger and let it out if you need to. And pay attention to where your body feels tight and what that could mean with regards to emotions that are trapped in your body because that is such a real thing. But anyway guys, I'm gonna stop here because I'm gonna edit this whole video before I go to work. I love you so much. Thank you for watching my videos. Um, DM me on Instagram if you wanna chat. And I love you so much. Bye. Nail chat. I just fixed my nails because I was cooking all day yesterday. I'm literally a mother. Don't come for me. Okay, I'm not, I'm not really a mother. Jesus Christ. Please don't manifest that for myself.